start. Hey everyone, welcome back to Living Beyond Sunday, the podcast where we talk about the everyday Christian life. My name is Jonathan Sams and I'm back here not with Pastor Mike, but with Dylan. Pastor Mike is out on vacation this week and so we wanted to do a short podcast. Um, As some of y'all have noticed, um, we appreciate you doing so. You've seen that we've put these on YouTube as videos and uh, the genius behind that is Dylan. Um, Hello. Dylan and I have been friends for a long time and uh, we actually used to room together after college. Fun fact. Mm-hmm. But COVID uh, era. <laughs> yeah, COVID era. Uh, but Dylan is the reason why we've started putting those on YouTube. It's through his uh, faithful serving here at Image uh, that he's taken on our producer role to be able to help us make these better for y'all, but also to be able to put them on YouTube so that more people can see them. Um, and so if you haven't already, jump over to YouTube, Image ATL, and subscribe and give this video a like. But for today, while Pastor Mike is out on vacation, we wanted to intro Dylan because you all have seen the work he's been doing, but also give him a chance to share why he's doing it and kind of what led him to do that. So first off, um, tell us a little bit about yourself. For those of the people who are watching this that don't know you personally, um, what do they need to know about you? And then we'll get into how you started serving. Yeah, um, I'm Dylan Patel. I am um, 25. I live in the area. Um, Basically, I just, I've been at Image Church for about, I don't know, like f- four years now. Um, started in college, started um, Image uh, Image College, and now kind of joined the church because it's such a great thing to go straight from college ministry into a church that's there. And I think that's one of the great things about Image Image Church that I really loved. Um, but yeah, I just really love Image, and I really wanted to serve, and I just thought this was probably the best way for me to serve. Yeah, I think that's a, a good fact of like, um, so you were... We went to college together, and so um, in college, being able to go kind of, I feel like one of the, maybe you can speak to this a little, one of the challenging aspects of people who are very active in college ministry is um, when you graduate, you kind of lose some of that community, or you're not really sure where to go. What was that like for you being able to go straight from college to an established local church, as opposed to kind of being in this free flow I got to figure this out all of a sudden, um, kind of zero to 100 that some people experience after graduation. Yeah. Uh, uh, more like a hundred to zero really. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's just, I hear all these stories about like people that like left KSU or went to college and they went like, they moved to like, not even not out of Georgia, just like to like Alpharetta or like some other part of the st- uh, city. And they like, don't go to image anymore or obviously can't go to image anymore and they just like kind of lost like momentum because like like you said in college we have like a tight-knit like christian community and like we do go to church every like on sundays because all your friends go to church but like when you lose that community you kind of like sometimes lose that momentum so just having that like literally like f- this flow just straight from like oh i'm graduated i don't have to worry about where i'm going to go to high uh, if I, i'm just living in the area still obviously I don't even have to worry about where I'm going to go to church because I already have a church that like has like not only like all my friends, but also like what you know is like biblically sound and like um, like you already are close and tied with um, versus like a lot. I know a lot of like campus ministries don't have that um, or because they're just campus ministries. They're not they're not churches that are on campus. Yeah, that's good. I think a lot of things is um, for people to know if you come to image and you're moving one, we want to help you find a good local church wherever you're moving. But two, for people who are in college, it's really essential um, to plug into a local church so that you can at least have some established community post-graduation as people are moving away or figuring out if they're going to stay in the city or college was at. Um, I think that's all super helpful. And the way it worked out for you was to basically stay close to where your university was, where the church is. Um, and a lot of your friends uniquely chose to stay as well, mm-hmm. which I think is really like God's blessing on us 100%. to be able to, to do that. Um, talk a little bit about kind of going from um, college student church goer to now you're what we i mean what 99 percent of churches would call a high capacity volunteer like you you serve on the tech team on sundays you help us produce this during the week uh and you uh serve as running a lot of our social media um and so what was what kind of switch flipped from just like i'm just going to go to this church be in a community group be in community to now I actively want to take a, a, a participatory role mm-hmm. in doing the ministry. Yeah. Um, 
actually the switch kind of flipped like during a Sunday service. I was listening to, or I was in a service that um, Pastor Aaron was preaching and was talking about giving um, your time, talent, and treasure. And I think I gave, I think at the point I was like, I was giving my treasure and I was giving my like, and that's pretty much it. And I was like, okay, the, the first two can just kind of like, uh, I kind of, I do, I did serve on the tech team at the time. So I like figured like, okay, like I have like, I'd give me my time and like, I guess my talents a little bit, but like, I wasn't feel like I wasn't get, like, I feel like I like at the moment I was like, I really am not giving my full potential of all three of those. Um, like even the treasure and like, I was like really convicting for me. And that's literally like, I think after service, I came up to you or maybe yeah. the next day, then maybe the next few days after, I don't remember exactly. But like, I was like, how can I give all three of these more? Yeah. And that was just like, I was like, I'm open for whatever you think. Like, obviously you know me pretty, pretty well. Like, and you're pretty plugged in on how like what the church needs and i was like just tell me like where can i best fit into make, doing that and at the time you're like we needed someone to fit manage the youtube so that's what i did and then as like that role kind of grew into like managing instagram and managing like um basically all social media and now then i was like you know what? we should start fill- and you guys have been doing this podcast for before then and i was like you know what, like we should start filming these instead of just having them on Spotify and Apple Music or Apple Podcasts. Um, and it kind of just grew from there. And I think that's like part of like, I think I see a lot of God's like will in that. Cause like, it wasn't just like, it was just me putting my yes on the table and then him right. just going from there, Yeah, um, which is great. Yeah, I think a couple of things like from the perspective of the person that helped you figure out where you were gonna land on this. One, it was super encouraging. So like for someone listening to this, that's maybe never, doesn't know how to go about that. I think the first step of find someone you know and just ask the question, whether that's, hey, I really am passionate about this. How can I use this for the church? Or, hey, I don't really know what I want to do, but I do want to serve. Where do you think I could be most useful? And helping other people kind of speak into that, which you did. uh, That's exactly what you did. And Mm -hmm. it worked out great. Um, And number two, like the idea that like it wasn't through some major revelation that you came to this idea. It was through the Holy spirit speaking through a sermon. And I think that's just really cool and a testament to the importance of the gathering, the importance of uh, preaching on Sundays. Um, But then on top of that, uh, you can maybe speak to this of um, it is, I think alternatively, because I find this in the way I serve here with the podcast and the Institute of, I enjoy it. Like it's life giving for me mm-hmm. to be able to serve the church in that way. Has that been the same for you? A hundred percent. Yeah. I think like, I didn't really realize how much I would enjoy doing this. Jo- like, I guess yeah. it's not a job, but like high capacity volunteering. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, uh, I really like didn't know, like I really, I knew I liked editing videos. I know like, uh, like on the side and stuff, but like, I didn't know like how much I would enjoy it. And that's again, goes to God's will. Like God, yeah. God, no, God's plan is better than any plan we could ever come up with. Right. And, um yeah so like just like you said like it was i enjoyed doing this volunteered ro- job a lot um, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of hard to figure out a title for what it is but like you said like it's the work that you're doing in, or for god's work you're doing right so yeah i think the big thing about um what i love about us here is in a lot of ways we give the opportunities to people who come and ask for them mm-hmm. even as a like as a younger church who may not be able to turn a job into a paid position as with other kind of larger churches we can at least give the the opportunity for leadership the opportunity for um, the experience um, and the resources necessary to a certain extent to do what what you're being asked to do um, and so I think that's been cool to watch with you in an area that I'm not good at uh, but that you are. Um, and so I've been super encouraged about that. What last, I guess, would you have any advice or last words for someone who's kind of listening to this and going, man, I, I think I could also do something more for the church um, as someone who has done it and is doing it really faithfully. Uh, any last words you would give to that person? Yeah. I mean, like I, I would just kind of just say like, ask your pastor, ask someone that's working for the church. Hey, like what, let's put your ass on the table, right? That's what that's I said good. earlier. Like, just like maybe not everything they say you um they need that you you can actually do like that's just some people have better at some things than others like you were saying um but just putting your ass on the table and just like being faithful just enough to even ask and maybe there's something that you can do maybe there's something you like maybe the church doesn't need your particular skill set right now but at least like they know like what yours is and in the future if they need it they it, like they could be like they can call up call you up and just be like hey like we need you to do xyz um so just being there being faithful put your ass on the table and just putting yourself out there like is just 
all you know because no one's going to know what like you want to do it or what you're good at until you say it yeah you know, like yeah um so that's just all i'm saying just put your ass on the table yeah that's really good and hopefully this kind of mini podcast has been helpful for y'all watching or listening to be able to meet dylan um to be able to see kind of what goes into making these um and to uh to be able to hear about how living beyond sunday living the christian life throughout the week doesn't just mean kind of maintaining your personal walk but also what can you provide? What can you serve in the local church? Where can you be in community? Where can you take a, a next step to putting, like you said, your yes on the table? And so maybe this is, uh, I pray that this is giving you some other things to think about with regards to how you can serve. Um, all that being said, um, please, we really appreciate it if you would follow us on Spotify. It helps a Apple lot. Pod, yeah, <laughs> as, as the producer <laughs> yeah, says. As the producer, I can say. Um, <laughs> it helps us a lot if you would leave a like on the YouTube video, if you would subscribe, uh, even comment um, what you would like us to do as we are planning out what we're going to do in the fall. Um, so if there's any particular topics, feel free to comment those or send us an email at pastormike at imageatl.com. And we would love to be able to talk about those. But with that being said, we hope you all have a good rest of your week and we look forward to talking to you in the next podcast.